Mina san konnichiwa. This is David. And Mina. And um, we just did our Red Frame Astray unboxing for the um, SD EX standard. Now we're going to do the in Endless Waltz version of the Wing Gundam Zero. Oi. I know, right? So let's pop this open here. Um, and I talked a little bit about the um, guiding principles beyond the, behind the new EX standards in the other video. Um, so just go ahead and check that out. I'm not going to repeat myself a whole bunch. Um, basically, it is all much, much higher quality. Oh, wow, that V-Fin is a lot nicer than I'm used to with SDs. Cute. Um, yeah, that's really sturdy, really nice stuff. Uh, feels great. We've got our feet here and our face which is its own little piece, which is awesome. These are gonna be really paint friendly. Um, these yeah. are gonna be really customization friendly and stuff. Got nice hardcore poly caps. These are, you know, heavy duty, just like, you know, in the modern HG. Okay, backpack for the Wing Zero. It looks like we have big, huge um, wing armatures there. Um, we have the um, Buster Rifle, which is connected, um, which is kind of a clever thing because it'll let you do the um, signature scene from the Endless Waltz film, uh, which the um, HG and the RG kits cannot fucking do um, because of balance issues uh, and because they, you know, fall apart and whatever. So that's cool. Um, this blue is nice. Our cats are apparently over there playing um, and being loud. All right. Let's pop open this white stuff. That's what she said. What? I, I don't even know. Um, okay, so we've got some stickers here, some blue accent stickers. We've got our face. We've got our nice little, like, you know, jewelish pieces. And then the, um, the search eye um, there. Those stickers there in the white, that should just be panel lining. Yeah, That's yeah, silly. yeah. This is just a this is just a poor excuse for someone who doesn't want to panel line, basically. Panel line. There's um, no excuse on these guys. They're so cute. They're look so at the detail cool. on that face. Oh, my God. Um, that head, that has got so much detail. It's begging for cool panel lines. Um, and then we've got our wings here. Ironically, the wings are better quality than the HG Endless Waltz by a pretty wide margin. He's calling Bandai out, just straight well, up. Well, I mean, it hasn't been updated in a while. They could fucking do it. Um, they could <laughs> update it. Uh, it's been almost 20 years, so it's about time. But who's counting? Yeah. Um, and these, these are shoulders, like look at that. The shoulders are super detailed. Kawaii. What a cool little SD. Um, and then wings, again, you could do some lining. Um, they're really detailed. They look nice. I think it's gonna look like a good kit. Let's pop out the instructions here. Okay, gosh, that's pretty. Um, are you mad now? A little bit. Because this one's mine. He's yeah, it's, 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 I'm a little bit. Um, <laughs> We're gonna end up doing So the two. backpack, and the buster rifle and the wings all sort of can go together into this weird weapon thing. Um, and because it's an EX standard, it should be compatible with um, HG kits. And there is our Wing Zero. Um, not the Wing Zero Custom, but the classic Wing Zero. And um, holding that weapon, and it looks kind of cool. <laughs> He's like, now I got a buster rifle I can actually hold up. Yeah, right. And then this one is a 12-step kit, um, pretty easy. Um, for me, that's about where I lose patience. Like, I can't really get into it after, I don't know, 12, 13 steps. By then, I'm like, oh, screw it. Yeah. So, um, we're going to toss this together. Um, I'm very fond of it so far. I'm very excited. Can't mm. wait to see what goes on with this. And, um, matane. Matane.